To my channel welcome if you're someone who's been here before and come back welcome to you thank you for coming back today i've just recorded a little video doing the home bargains and i just mentioned about ebay because i've been storing all my uh um, have all this, um in my ebay boxes and i mentioned that i'm not doing ebay anymore and there's several reasons for me not doing ebay anymore because i know a lot of people yourselves have been following me for reselling ebay um, related videos and i haven't been doing them for ages so i understand i've lost quite a few subscribers because of that which is fair enough like i understand but i just wanted to explain some of my reasons and i think the main one is ebay fees i just think are ridiculous just this is just my opinion i don't expect everybody anyone to agree with me this is just just explaining why I'm not selling on, I'm not doing reselling at all. Although um, I am watching everybody's reselling videos for uh, hints and tips. And if I do see anything that they show that is a bolo, I will pick it up in the charity shop. Um, yeah, because I'll be mad not to really, if you think about it. I'll be a bloody idiot to leave it behind. Because I'm always in charity, well, when they're open, as you know, we're on lockdown. But when the charity shops are open, I do buy a lot of my own clothes from charity shops. So, it's just the fees. I mean, because I only do it part-time and I'm not really committed because I'm a lazy get like, no. Um, I think you have to be on it all the time to basically make a profit and i know i haven't done well last year because i've just done my tax returns which was a mission <laughs> and it took me two days but uh yeah after i did that i thought you know what this has like made my mind up to close my shop and just say it sod off <laughs> you know i don't want to do it anymore because it just did worth when you're paying the fees and then like, it's like when I watch other people's videos and you have to pay extra to promote your items, I am kind of think to myself, why am I going to pay extra to promote it? I'm already paying for my eBay shop. Why are you making me pay more? It, don't, it Logically, in my head, I'm like, it's like, say if you worked in a shop and you was on the checkout and you serve 10 people and then you refuse to serve the 11th person because you say to your boss well can I have a bit more money to serve this person that to me is the way I think of it it's like cheeky it's taking the piece of money it's in my head maybe I maybe I've got it completely wrong but I just think to charge someone extra to do the job they're supposed to be already doing anyway to me seems cheeky I know it's business and they're there to make money they there to please idiots like me like you know who, who just want to make a little bit of money and um, because i haven't been doing it consistently my ebay fees are more than i'm actually making so i mean I, <laughs> i'm not an accountant but i you know i kind of get that that ain't working so basically i think a couple of things happen like with ebay and that that just made me think you know what i can't be doing with this anymore i mean i even bought a job lot of jewelry thinking that might get me in the mood to start taking more photos and putting more stuff on and that but even that didn't work so at the moment all my ebay stuff all the stuff that i had in my cupboard is all packed up and put away and i haven't just give it away to charity shops like i did last time i've basically boxed it all up and it's all in the loft for if i ever do get in the ebay mood again which i don't, I don't know if and when that will ever happen see it's it's like i keep seeing on the telly um vintage sell your clothes sell your old clothes on vintage free absolutely free you literally keep all your fees and i'm like if they can do that and they're advertising on the telly why can't ebay do that same with depop um depop i believe only take your money from paypal that when you've sold an item and um, who else shopped you can sell stuff on shop now and get it delivered i've bought some jewelry off there before and um, paid with my card yeah that 
it didn't cost the seller nothing to put the items on and I, I'm not sure I've never actually sold anything through paying through there I've sold stuff where people have come to the house and it's cost me nothing so if they can do it for nothing why can't eBay do it for nothing just put a few more ads on the screen we're all used to them so that, that's basically it. I'm kind of thinking it ain't worth it worth the bloody mess as well <laughs> the messery well i'm a messy i'm just untidy and i think i'll tidy that in a bit i'll tidy that in a bit and then it gets to the point where i just want to like set fire to the stuff because i just can't deal with the mess so at the moment my room it's like a little dressing room now I've, I've got rid of everything um my table's gone that i had there and i've got a chest of drawers there which i got from ikea 40 pound delivery thanks ikea <laughs> take the piss why don't you um, which I think was proper expensive. I mean, if I knew we was going to have another bloody lockdown, I would have ordered a few more bits from there as well. But, well, I did call, kind of know, but there was nothing that I wanted at the time. So, yeah, so that's basically it. But like I said, I am watching other people's reselling videos because it's always in the back of my head. If I see something that I know is going to make a bit of profit and it, it's a fast seller, if I know it's going to be a fast seller, I ain't going to be stuck with it for months and months and months. Then I will pick it up. And as I won't be having an eBay shop because somebody did comment on one of my videos. How come there's nothing on your eBay shop? Because I've literally closed it. And that was another thing that annoyed me as well. What happened? Because I closed it and I had some stuff on Buy It Now. I, I took it off Buy It Now and went to do it as an auction. The lot, Everything is auctioned, really low price. And when i done it as a bulk upload and that, it said the eBay fees were going to be zero fee. So I thought, brilliant. I, you know, I only had the basic shop. And then submitted everything. And then I looked at my um, account and it had been, I've been charged for every single item. I can't remember how much it was now. So I pressed the contact me button for eBay and the guy phoned me back. And he's going, oh, because you didn't have enough on your account. You, you're only a basic shop. I said, yeah, but when I submitted it, it said all my fees were going to be zero. And he says, as you're a loyal customer and been with us a long time, we will credit back to your account. Which fair play to him, he did credit my account back. Like, you know, I didn't have to pay the fees. He never sold bugger all. <laughs> so that was a complete waste of time anyway. But it was the fact that, whether it's a glitch or what, I don't know. It said zero. I'd submitted it and then they charged me. So that really did annoy me. And then I had the other case where um, the item hadn't been, the item had been delivered it gone in the guy's recycling bin and it's disappeared um i think he opened the case and then ebay sent me an email to say um the case had been closed and it wouldn't go against me and that he'd been refunded not by me apparently but when i looked at my account it had been they took the money out of my account so again i had to claim to say look you know how is this my fault so i mean I suppose it's difference of opinions, isn't it? I suppose I could have claimed against Hermes. But my point was, eBay sent me a message to say it wouldn't go against me and I hadn't been charged. And I had been charged. So it's little things like that that kind of make you think, is it worth it? No. <laughs> to me, it's not worth it. Like it says, I do this, well, I did do this part time and it was my hobby because I'm always in charity shops. But my hobby become a little bit of a horrible job <laughs> you know horrible pain in the ass job which when you get a message from ebay uh when you have get your message saying like bing you know you've got a message when you kind of think oh god who's this off like what's the problem now when you get to that point it doesn't feel worth it and i understand people do it for a living and some people make a really good living out of it and fair play to them and I, I understand if you do it like um, as a daily basis because it's your job, like anything, isn't it? If it? The more you do it, the better you get. And, you know, you know what to pick up and what not to pick up. And with, I've never really got that. It's like the shoes. I've got a lot full of shoes. I bought a pair of shoes a few weeks ago from the charity shop for myself. Brand new. Never tried them on because it's got signs everywhere. You're not allowed to try anything, are you? So I was six. Can't fit them on my bloody feet. <laughs> they literally won't fit on my feet. And yet it, there's Dorothy Perkins. I'm sure they're Dorothy Perkins. Or oh, doing a whole video. Um, <laughs> yeah, they won't even fit on my feet. So that's what's another reason what made me stop selling shoes.
because when people were saying like is this a big size five or a four the you know small size i'm like i don't know because i'm a size six stuff like that it just got to the point where i thought i can't i can't be asked <laughs> you know? but like i said i love watching other people's reselling videos i just find it fascinating that you can buy something i said i think my best my best buy was the max mara coat i got from i think it's cancer research in bromsgrove for three quid and sold for 70 and i gotta admit for a few weeks after i thought they're going to return this <laughs> no, but they never did such wood i mean it's month well it's well over a year ago now and it, it hasn't been returned so that that's good news so i'm yeah i'm not having to go at any of the other resellers at all like i said i love watching reselling videos i find them quite addictive but until ebay do something about reducing the fees it just annoys me when i see like vintage advertise on the telly and they're doing it for free ebay are advertising the sellers and they're not doing it for free they're charging people a lot of money and then charging them extra i know i'm banging on i'm like a bloody parrot to promote it and i'm like why why are you doing that if vintage can do it surely you can do it if you can give um private uh sellers free listings and we all know like i said i'm <laughs> fair play to them for getting away with it when you see someone with like you know a thousand items and you look at the feedback and they've got thousands of feedback but they're a private seller i mean we all know they're not private but you know it's, it's slightly obvious but my point is if ebay can give them free listings and only charge them when they sell why can't they do that for business sellers it just seems unfair <laughs> you know it just seems unfair that you've got to register as a business because you are a business because you're selling to resell and i haven't got a problem with that but it's just i don't think ebay have got the monopoly anymore yeah ebay is brilliant you can sell all over the world with the global shipping and all this sort of stuff but when they first started they were like um is it a pioneer i can't think of the word you know they were the first in the the type to do that wasn't they you know like a car boot online that was a slogan sort of thing when it but now with the internet being massive and mobile phones which i'm recording on being just the norm and there's that many different apps i mean facebook marketplace as i've been teed shopped gumtree i'm not sure if gumtree is still going but there's that many apps on your phone where you can sell stuff i think ebay are just been greedy boys <laughs> i just think it's pure greed but it says at the end of the day it's their business it's their platform take it or leave it and i'll leave it thank you ebay <laughs> you know but yeah unless it's something i know that's going to appeal well worldwide or something you know like i said unless it's a bolo i'm always in charity shops i'm always nosing around not so much now since we have to wear the bloody mask <laughs> so when the shops do open i've never been in and out of a shop quicker <laughs> normally when i used to go to charity shops i'll spend ages walking around around in case i miss something because you never know you might miss something but now i mean obviously with the wearing the mask and knowing people are waiting outside queuing it does tend to speed you up by literally walking back into the circle back out well when the shops were open that's what i did not at the moment but hopefully it won't be long before the shops are open so yeah take care everyone uh, so i don't expect you all to agree with my opinion it's like i say it's, it's a free country <laughs> you know we all think what we think and yeah i can understand if people will unsubscribe because they originally subscribed to my channel for reselling tips but i don't think you got any re reselling tips off me anyway if you want reselling tips go to like george ross and all, and all them all the reset just type in uk resellers and there'll be loads of them there's loads of americans but that that's different to us isn't it? but yeah there's loads of other resellers who do really really well so if you want to make a profit on ebay or just in general selling online reselling just type in uk resellers in google in youtube and there'll be hundreds of them like you know so take care everybody um i'll see you in my next video which obviously won't be reselling it'll probably be about me um um 
I can't think of anything. It'll be it'd be something else anyway. <laughs> Alright, see you soon, bye.